John Leon always finds some VIPs on the Lafayette campus. Here's John. Right you are, Gary. VIPs they are. It's family weekend here at Lafayette, and uh, I'm not sure there's another family more energetic or enthusiastic than these two right here. I'm speaking about Alan Haddad and, of course, his wife, Janet. And, Alan, your generous and significant support of the program over the years is well documented, but today belongs to your better half because uh, earlier this week, I believe it was, uh, the, uh, there, was a new, there was an enhancement to the Lafayette football facility, and it really is a tribute to the women of Lafayette football. Janet, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, today at 1230, we dedicated a locker in Burger Field House to the women of Lafayette football. Um, this idea hit us about a year ago. Um, I was in the locker room with Alan and looked at all the dedications and didn't see anything for the many women who I've always held close to my heart and watched over the years. So we spent a year developing this with the college, who was fantastic. And today we dedicated what I think was a, a real force for the ladies behind things here at Lafayette. And just a moment ago, you were describing it to me physically, and I didn't know this before this interview started, but Janet, tell us a little bit about some of the names that uh, are, are incorporated into the, into the locker and into the project. Well, we have Lori Samet, who mm -hmm. was a, the first woman trainer yep. for Lafayette. Um, geez, I'm Walker drawing Kirby, a blank. Yes, yeah. um, Kim Honor Beasley, Gary. who oh. was the first woman to be part of Friends of Lafayette yep. football. Mm -hmm. um, Honor, Honor Garrett. Garrett. Yep. Geez, I have, yeah, who terrific. else? Well, <laughs> well, it's. It, so I mean, there's many. Cynthia McCartney, class of oh. 79, uh, one of Barbara. our twirlers back then. We have cheerleaders on there. Um, let's Tucker. see. Uh, Barbara Tucker. Yeah. Of course, Bill and Barb. You know, um, take us back a little bit, uh, Janet. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, your, your enthusiasm and your passion for the sport had to begin somewhere. Take yes. us back to when and where and how. Um, well, I was a Susie State liner, so football was really <laughs> big in Peaburg. Um, and I always loved watching the game and had many friends who played. But it wasn't until I got to um, meet this guy at Lafayette who played football, and I just became enamored with the game. And when he came back to coach in 79 and 80, uh, I went on the road with him and was, I think, the first woman to do any uh, uh, what scouting. You, scouting in the press box in times that Harvard, Cornell, a lot of them would just close the door and say, I couldn't come in. We just walked right in. That's and, terrific. Uh, that, 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 I learned a lot about the game that, during during those two years. So Just just terrific. Alan, let me ask you, because I'm sure there's a, a lot of husbands out there who don't have a partner. That, we all know how crazy and passionate football guys can be. Yeah. It must be a special treat to have a partner who shares that passion. It's fantastic, John. We've been together 40 years, and Jan and I met here at Lafayette. Lafayette has meant everything to me. It's meant everything to us. It's given us so many opportunities through sports, through uh, extracurriculars here at the College Act. The education I got alone, uh, my opportunity to become an educator in the Lehigh Valley is because of Neil Putnam, who brought me back as an assistant coach, enabled me to take courses here. But in that process, that was my first exposure going on the road as an assistant coach. And, and it was too much for me to take in. Well, you know, as a coach, there's just so much when you're scouting. So I brought Jan for every game. And she was my down distance in hash. I was playing formation. We'd come back. There was Joe Sarrell waiting to take the report from us. So we had a great experience as youngsters here, the support from the college all the way through. And then they come back as part of Friends of Lafayette football because the guys like John Piper, Penny Piper, Selena Van Der Werf, Jack Berger, fantastic people. And so when I said today that being amongst this group, it's, it's a family that is beyond blood, you know, and it's just, we, we bleed maroon, that maroon thread that runs through us is fantastic. Yeah. Alan, uh, you, you, I don't know who could have said it better, but that's that's what it's all about here. And and to that point, now over the years, your involvement in the program, the size of Lafayette and the, and the nature of the program allows supporters to kind of come to know some of the kids. Yeah. Can each, maybe one of each, a, a story about a personal contact you've made of a, a special player you've come to know? Ooh, well, I, um, well I would say Major Jordan. He's a freshman, number 42 this year. His family came to every game last year before Major was even here to just check things out. We welcomed them into the Friends of Football tent. And what a supportive family that is now on board because their son is a freshman. But we got to know them uh, months ahead of time. And we feel like we're their family. And they're our family. 
Alan, how about you? John, we've talked about this last year. We talked about the sponsor of player program, and that is Dan and, and our way and, and other alumni who want to support Lafayette football to, to be connected in a really personal way and to adopt a freshman player um, and, and, and be with them and their family for the next four years. So we had a picture yesterday down here, and we have eight kids now because we, we've got a couple years that are doubled up and it is so warm and, and, it, and it makes it so welcoming. So regardless of the outcome of what happens here, this is our family and we enjoy it. We like to talk about community. We like to talk about family. The Lafayette football program is family. Exhibit A and 1A right here next to me, Gary.